The COVID-19 tally in the state has reached 102 with 76 active cases today. According to an officer report, 13 persons, 7 males and 6 females were confirmed COVID-19 positive at the Virus Research and Diagnostic Laboratories of Regional Institute of Medical Sciences, Lumfell and Jawaharlal Nehru Institute of Medical Sciences, Porompat, Imphal last night. The report also said the patients held from Bishnupur, Churachandpur, Senapati, Tamenglong, Technopal and Ukrul districts and they have returned from Chennai, Mumbai and Delhi. The India Meteorological Department IMD today revised its forecast and said Cyclone Nisarga is now likely to make landfall between 1 p.m. and 4 p.m. just south of Alibak, a resort town in Maharashtra's Raigad district. Cyclone Nisarga is now 130 kilometers south southwest of Alibak, 175 south southwest of Mumbai, and 400 kilometers south southwest of Surat, the Weather Bureau said, as per a media report. Three terrorists believed to be a part of Jaisi Muhammad group were gunned down by security forces today in Jammu and Kashmir's Pulwama, police said, in the second encounter in the district in the last 24 hours. As per a media report, the joint operation was launched by the Indian Army's Rastriya Rifle, the Central Reserve Police Force and the State Police in Kangan Muran village of South Kashmir's Pulwama on specific information. With India reporting 8,908 cases in the last 24 hours, the total number of coronavirus infections in India crossed the 2 lakh mark to reach 2 lakh 7,614 today. This includes 5,815 deaths and 1 lakh 302 cured discharged. As many as 217 people have died in the last 24 hours across the country. Globally, over 63,78,239 cases have been reported, while 3,80,250 people have succumbed to the infection. The United States continue to be the worst affected nation with 18,31,821 cases and 1,6180 deaths, a media report said. Under the supervision of Sikhong Sekmai Municipal Council Ward No. 7 Councillor Thangzam Debita, local farmers dredged canals located around 200 paddy fields stretching around 20 kilometers today. Nine more persons tested COVID-19 positive in Nagaland today. All the patients are Chennai returnees. According to a media report, they were among 115 samples tested yesterday of those who have returned from Chennai, informed State Health Minister S. Pang New Form on Twitter this morning. With these nine new cases, the total number of COVID-19 cases in the state went up to 58. All these 58 cases are presently active without any recovery. Assam registers 60 new COVID-19 positive cases today. Among the new cases, 38 are from Dhubri, 18 in Golakhat and 4 in Nagao. According to a media report, this was informed by State Health Minister Himanta Bishwa Sarma on social media today. With these new cases, the total number of COVID-19 cases rose to 1,621 with 1,277 active cases and 337 recovery cases. U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo and a senior congressional leader have criticized China for bullying behavior towards India during a military standoff on their disputed border. According to a media report, thousands of Indian and Chinese troops have faced each other for weeks at three or four locations in the western Himalayas after Beijing's forces intruded into the Indian territory, according to Indian security officials and media. Images of white police officer kneeling on the neck of African-American George Floyd, who then died, have sparked protests from Amsterdam to Nairobi. But they also exposed deeper grievances among demonstrators who strain race relations in their own countries. As per media reports, with violent clashes between protesters and authorities raging in the United States, anti-police brutality activists gathered by the thousands in support of Black Lives Matter movement in various European and African cities. Indian Council of Medical Research scientist Dr. Nivedita Gupta has said that the country is still very far away from the peak. In an infectious disease, a peak signifies the point at which the daily case count will start to fall. Over the last few days, over 8,000 new coronavirus cases have been reported from across the country, Delhi.